and then actually you realize you don't and it's just taking up space so i've had a really good clear out actually it's it's good everyone should move house every now and then painful as it is He's not going to... Exactly. Lovely to see you both this morning. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. <laughs> Football predictions, mind coaching. Yeah, got the lot. Bit of virology on the side. Uh, on BBC One, just after us, uh, 10 o'clock, Matt Tabbitt takes over in the Saturday kitchen. Any clear-outs going on there, Matt? Did you hear that? Sometimes a clear-out is a good thing. Uh, yeah, we were just having our own discussion about that. I'm not sure it's for public consumption, however. <laughs> well, now we're interested. What, yeah. what's, what, what's occurring? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, we're not really. No, not are. really. Uh, but, yes, I th it's a good time to clear out things you don't need that you've had for 25 years. Uh, moving on, our special guest today is Phil Tufnell. Phil, Morning, to morning. How Lovely to be here. Very well, mate. Very excited about today. Big game later on. Is there? Is yes. there something happening? I think there might be. Really? Yeah. Come Predictions? On England. Uh, two nil. Two nil. England. It's very. You thought about this? Yeah, I have. We, it's not going to happen. It's coming home. It's not going to happen. It's coming, it's not coming home. home. Don't say that. <laughs> Everyone says it's coming home. It's coming what? home. What's coming home? <laughs> uh, now, listen, we'll talk probably later. We're yeah. going to talk about the hundreds yep. uh, in just a bit. Yes. For now, let's talk food heaven, food hell. What should I do? Yes. Food heaven, uh, food heaven uh, seafood, shellfish, mm -hmm. uh, like sp uh, spicy flavours, bit okay. of Thai. Nice. All lovely. What yeah, about hell? Aromatics. Um, I, I haven't got a sweet tooth. Right. Yeah, so and it, I don't like desserts. Not. Anything sweet? No, spotted dick's all right, perhaps. <laughs> okay. And a, okay. Well, no, a little bit of custard on it right. and things like that. But, you know, yeah. anything else, no, not, not a sweet tooth. OK. Uh, two great chefs here as well, as usual. Jay Baxter, how are you, Jay? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Yeah, good. Scott? I'm cooking a selection of antipasti dishes from Ooh. southern Italy. We're doing... You're doing um, four, in fact. I'm doing four, in yeah. In nine minutes. Yeah, in nine <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to do aqua sale, which is a uh, uh, sort of take on panzanella, a bean puree with padrons, courgette salad, and aubergine in voltini. Excellent. You've got your oh, sandwich okay. toaster there as yeah, well. Yeah, sandwich toaster's we ready. Careful <laughs> while you're making all these dishes. <laughs> it, it is. It. She, loves, she loves one of those. Uh, <laughs> Philip Juma, first time on the show. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. Uh, what have you got for us? Something a bit different, is it? Iraqi? Yes, Iraqi cuisine. We're going to go for a showstopper dish Iraqi lamb dolma. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. Helen McGinn's at home, limbering up to match wine. Uh, what do you drink with the football? Stay on message. Anything, Stay anything, on message. if we win. Uh, as usual, you decide what Phil eats at the end of the show, so go to the website for voting details, and we'll see you at 10. Matt, thank you very much. Stay with us, we've got the sport coming up in just a moment. Right, let's meet today's team, a seasoned professional, our good friend Jane Baxter, and getting his first cap, Philip Juma, and bound to score with her drinks picks, Helen McGinn. Good morning, everyone. Morning. morning. I'm, I'm, I'm laying off the joke, <laughs> Helen. I'm laying off that bound to score joke. I'm sure there's one somewhere. Uh, right, enough of the lame football jokes, because today's special guest is one of the country's greatest cricketers. Please welcome one of our most popular sporting personalities, Phil Tufnell. Thank you. Thank Good morning, you. Phil. How are you? Nice and very well. Very well. Yes, good. Delighted to be here. Nice, well, nice to have very you. Very excited today. Very excited. Why is that? Well, uh, What's here, going of on? Course, of course, here. Obviously. But then also there might be a little game of football later on. Are you, are you which, being into the football? Yes, I am. I love it. Yeah. Are you, do you love sports across the board? Yes, everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm upstairs watching the sport. Um, my wife's usually downstairs sort of watching um, Housewives of something. Around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, occasionally we meet. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be thrilled to uh, for yeah. you to announce that on yeah. TV. Uh, so, what's your prediction? Uh, two 0 England. Okay, it's coming home. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> it's coming I, haven't, I haven't heard that this week. No. Uh, right, let's see what's on the menu today. Uh, Jane, you're up first. Yep. You've got a lot going on. I... Was the old A and E this week? Oh. Yes, I went in with a gammy finger. It's a long story. It's not okay. particularly attractive, and no. I won't tell you about it now. <laughs> uh, but honestly, they are absolute angels. I couldn't uh, thank them enough. You've been absolutely brilliant. Thank God we've all got people like you on our team. So thanks very much for that, guys. Yeah! 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 Thank you. yeah. Honestly, they were brilliant. And when next time I see my cat, we're going to have words. Oh. My cat is this big. Is it? Yeah. Give it a nibble. It's, Give it seeing, a it's seeing everything off all the, at the moment, <laughs> including me. Uh, right, keep them coming in. Uh, send them over. Send over your foodie photos uh, to Sam. Yeah. Get on with it. Let's do this. Let's have it. OK. <laughs> I am so, four dishes. Four dishes. So, I'm starting with the aubergine. Yeah. So, I can get it um, going on the griddle. Actually, not the griddle, the sandwich toaster. Sandwich toaster. Yeah. Yes. Jane loves a sandwich toaster. So do well, I. Uh, she, do you? Yeah. But, but with vegetables? Uh, well, no, with a sandwich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's, take, she's taking it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> she puts vegetables. Use any sort of bean. Um, you could, I think, white beans. 
<laughs> Any white bean. Any white bean. Yeah, white like bean. Like a haricot. Bean. Haricot, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and these are I watch this show, you know. Puree <laughs> is generally served with um, these pointy green peppers called frigatelle and um, a bit of bitter chicory. So I'm okay. just going to do with padrons because they're easily available. Would you? That we're going to serve with it. Okay. And some oil. I mean, a lot of these dishes are just vehicles for really good olive oil. You know, they're kind yeah. of the oil there is so good. Um, vinegar. Right. Just to give a bit of sort of bit of an edge to so it, and I think it works very them, well. Yeah. So I'm going to put the onions this is, in. This looks a lot like a, a pan snail. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was good to be back. Good. It was good to be It's good to get out of the kitchen, because if anybody's been in our place, they know it's a bit like Las Vegas. You don't know what time of day it is. A bit <laughs> like in here, really. Yes. <laughs> so... I drink cocktails at 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like Vegas. <laughs> like pumping oxygen into the studio to keep us all awake. <laughs> so I'm just adding... Yeah. So I've just tipped some water into here and a little bit of oil. And then I'm going to add some... Um... Are you still doing your boxing? Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. I'm still oh, boxing. I'm still boxing. I love it. Anger management. It is. <laughs> to another, yeah? Yeah. Now, with a puree, uh, presumably you, you squeeze the garlic out, you then throw the skins away. Lovely British company, grow them. Right. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um... <laughs> OK, so... <laughs> <laughs> OK, so... Here we go. Lovely. Right. Stick one out the front so we can see it. Yeah. OK. Looks fantastic. Here we have okay, our we Italian antipasti dish um, from Puglia. We have courgette salad, aubergine in voltini, bean puree and aqua e sale. Well done, Bex. Very yeah. good. <laughs> right. Lovely. lovely. This is what I come yep, for. Yep. OK. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Have you, have you eaten today already? No, no, good. not today. Good. Come, pre come prepared. Healthy um, feed, yeah. Right, like Primitivo, uh, Hells. Tivo. Hot cheese. Huh? All the cheese. All oh, the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really good. Delicious combination, that. Um, Philip, remind us what you're doing in just a bit. Lamb dolma, Iraqi style, lamb chops, stuffed onion shells, baby peppers and vine leaves. Nice. Don't forget, keep sending in your foodie juices, juices we're going to use because they're delicious. Don't throw those away. And diced, uh, diced red and yellow pepper. Right, uh, and we're going to serve these in little lettuce cups. So it's a, it's a nice little... Uh, it's just a nice little snack, really. Uh, right, so I'll get... It's sort of wanting to be very, very inclusive, very kind of family... Correct. ..orientated. Correct. Get, also... get a younger crowd into cricket, maybe. Yes, very much so. But then also, you know, you can... You know, if you're the more, you know, the more sort of um, uh, purist, you know, and like the test matches, come along as well. There's going to be something there for everyone. Yeah. You know? It's not just for that. You know, you can uh, come and take bits and pieces, dip in and out as much as you like. It's oh, proper. <laughs> you know, we, we always just sort of like jog around the boundary and sort of you know, <laughs> go and have a bacon sandwich and then wander out and have a game. <laughs> these, guys, these guys are properly in the gym now. You know, they're smashing it out of the ground. You know, like the IPL, which has absolutely gone mad over in India as well. So, yeah. Um, you know, people... You know, I, I think there's a place for all this uh, kind of uh, format of the game, you know. I mean, I, listen, I love my test match cricket. Always have, you, have done. Have you got your, your, your first... Test match jumper. Well, my wife shrunk it. Did you see that? <laughs> hey. I was going through this. Yeah. Sorry, Dolny. Sorry, <laughs> um, but um, I was going through the shed, clearing out a few bits and pieces uh, the other day, and uh, and I found it. And I went, oh, what? and I've smelt it a little bit, and it was, <laughs> it was it was chucking up a bit. You know what I mean? It's been in there for about ten or fifteen years. So, uh, Dawny washed it for me and uh, it came out about that big. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those cable knit jumpers. Like that. So now I've, I've framed it and put it in the downstairs loo. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got it in a frame? Yeah, a little one like that. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those, it's a one. those builder bears yeah. jumpers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at this because it's just mayonnaise. Or will it be his food hell, banoffee tart? Uh, so I'm going to make a chocolate pastry base filled with dolce de leche, dolce, mm. dolce de leche uh, and whiskey caramel. For a month, and then it's done and dusted, so you can really sort of, like, you know, I mean, follow that's, it. That's you can really follow it, yeah. One you... game in the yeah. outside, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, looking forward to it, I think. You're going to be watching, Bex? Special. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Come Your on. old man got you into cricket. 
Yeah, I used to. Well, it was ironing his shirts that got me into cricket, really. I used to, <laughs> it was what? Uh, ironing his uh, work shirts. Really? Yeah, I used to do them in front of the telly in Sunderland, yeah. <laughs> and I used to watch you, the cricket. Did you shrink them? No, I didn't. Right. Oh. Well, that's a bit of raw fish there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, what will I be making, Phil, at the end of the show? It's like now and have your say. Right, Philip. So, this is a big celebratory dish. It is indeed. Um, lamb dolma. Lamb dolma, right. and um, yeah, basically it's um, okay. So while that's cooking, I'm now going to move on to my actual dolma mix. Oh, for finance, no way, no. <laughs> far from it. Um, I'm happy now. I'm smiling. I'm right. constantly exhausted. Yeah, because fine, oh. fine leaves easy to get hold of. The jars, these are jarred right. um, from from most, I guess. Okay. Shops. Um, I, I'm not sure if the supermarkets have them, but do they? Back yeah. Why not? Have you, have you got a signature dish? Um, uh, uh, roast dinner. Look. What, what, what <laughs> roast? <laughs> it's a, it's a no, 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 it's breakfast, roast dinner. It's a tough and, one, I think, and, roast dinner. And, and, uh, and then a thing with mince. <laughs> love mince? <laughs> Do you love a bit of mince? Love a bit of mince. <laughs> Good, safe hands. <laughs> so these yeah, are the Interestingly, onions. you didn't choose mince as one of your heavens. You no, chose lobster. No. Well, there you go. Well, <laughs> uh, well my, wife, my wife doesn't eat seafood or, or uh, shellfish, so... <laughs> When I come out, I always ask for it because I'm not going to get it at home. <laughs> so Matt, I just really want to Sorry, show. Yes, no, sure. you're fine. The uh, that's the influence from India. Yeah. Um, there's makluba, which. Oh, is... right. Very nice. I just so burnt myself as well. That's nice. That biryani kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right. Remind us what that is. Iraqi lamb dolma. Fantastic. OK, right, you, you serve it up. I will do. Uh, I'll grab the wine. So, while that's being served, Hells, what have we got? Oh, yeah. So, we then have freshness about it as well. But it's just gorgeous. It is, isn't it? Beautiful. It's good, isn't it? Lovely. I've never Come had on. a poached lamb before, mm. but it's just melt in the mouth. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Yeah, gorgeous. That is so delicious. And those onions just melt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Don't know. Very unique as well, so... It's really good. Like... That wine's lovely, Hells. Yeah, my... Well, there's not lots and lots of it, so if you see... Honestly, that was fantastic. Mm. Yeah. You, you can come again. Lovely. Wine's lovely. Uh, a few yeah. weeks ago, we asked you to nominate your favourite street food. And yeah. So, congratulations to the other two finalists, Taste to Bet, uh, who make Nepalese street food in Oxford, and Greedies, who make amazing wings in Birmingham. There they are on the screen. Fantastic. Well done, mate. Thank yeah. you. Well done. Uh, from Iraq to Italy now. <laughs> just a splash of oh, sherry oh, oh. or a gin <laughs> or a, just something to take that edge off. I'm never going to say no to putting more gin in something. Okay, no, right. no. <laughs> fine. I'm glad I asked that. <laughs> right. You want them now? Don't, uh, make, don't mess it up because it's very expensive. Right. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, you're going to make the uh, black, the, and yeah, black and mayonnaise. Black and mayonnaise. So just char grill some limes. Uh, I'm going to make the uh, the dressing for the lobster and uh, the little marinade. So we've got some coriander. There's some garlic, quite a lot of garlic. Uh, lemongrass. Team down there. Loved every single minute of it. It yeah. was great, you know. I mean, and 13 years, that was a long time yeah, to be a well, part of. It was great part of fun, that. though, you know. It was great fun. Yeah. I mean, I remember sort of watching it when I was a boy with my brother, you know, and my mum and dad, and we used to sort of split up into teams and play along, and then to be. Yeah. You know, invited along as a captain was a was a great honour. Well, amazingly, it's been on 50 years. Yes, it has. I yeah. mean, I remember growing up watching it with Bill Bowman. Well, there you go, and Beefy. Yes. Yeah, yes, and yeah. all the boys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a great show. You know, you have a couple of beers in the green room, meet all your sporting heroes, and then go and do a sports quiz. It don't get much better. <laughs> <laughs> all that, and they pay you. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, a few quid. <laughs> yeah, not much. But you're taking it on the road, aren't you, doing a tour? Yes, yes. So, um... Yes, myself, Matt and Sue are taking it to the sort of theatres yep. uh, in September. Uh -huh. So that should be great fun. We're going to get sort of like, you know, go... Th also, it's going to be a little bit look back at it, talking to Beefy and, and, and Beaumont and every Bill Beaumont. And oh, you're bringing it, bringing it in? Yeah, so we go, well, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of that. And yeah. A little bit of sort of like trawling through the archive, you know. Right. And everything. And then we're going to play a few rounds and mess about and... Um, yeah, and then also get some sort of like local, uh, you know, local sporting heroes from okay. wherever we are along. Yeah, so it'd be great. 
So you, presumably you and Matt and, and Sue are, are very good friends? Yes, we get on very, very well. Yeah, we went to the river calf the other day. Oh, did great. you? Yeah, no, lovely, yeah. Oh, lovely, that was nice. That's yeah, it was nice. indeed. Yeah. <laughs> did you make Dawson pay? Yeah, well, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been cruel. No, Sue won't, won't, let, us, won't let anyone else pay. But, oh, really? Uh, no, yeah, that's right. But, um, How nice. Yeah, uh, no, we get on very well. Yeah, it's great fun. It, it, well, it was great fun. <laughs> Very nice. And when does that tour start? Uh, September, beginning of September, right. up and down the country from Plymouth to Edinburgh, I think, and everything right. along the way. Yeah. We might get a tour bus. Really? Yeah, that might be. <laughs> we might get a bus. I'm quite excited about yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll be like, sort of like, you know, Led Zeppelin or something, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, yeah. Yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Well, perhaps not them, no. Um, the carpenters. But, yeah, the carpenters. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that would be... That, yeah, really looking forward. <laughs> that would be right. Like. Right, let's catch up with the food. So, uh, Jane, you're making yep. mayonnaise, char yep, in that. Char in the... uh, let's blanch some peas. Fire. Yeah. And then we finish it on nice. skin side down, get the skin nice and crispy. But, yeah, my scoop is, like, a national, national treasure of... Yeah. I think I was, yes, I was. I'm not so much now, you know. Right. But it's funny, though, because you all sit there and you're all having a laugh and a joke in the green room and then sort of, like, the last come, round comes up and everyone starts, you know, the old shoulders go up a bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what's, uh, what's your favourite cricketing moment? Because I know mine was seeing Malcolm Marshall bat with one arm. Well, not one arm, he had a broken arm. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, what... yeah, Heady Lee. What and a being legend. at the Gabba in Brisbane. Yeah, yeah, what was a, a legend. Highlight. So what's yours? Uh, mine, uh, probably, well, like, you know, bowling the Australians out or the West that, Indies out of the awesome. Overland thing. Yeah, that's got to be satisfying. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah. But probably, actually, I was privileged enough to see... Um, well, I bowled to him for two and a half days. Brian Lara break the world record, oh, God. which was 375, wow. yes. Wow. So I had a bird's-eye view of that because I was serving it up to him, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so been involved in some great games, you know, played against some great players as well. It was uh, 20 years of... Great fun, great fun. Good, amazing. Yeah. Thanks very much. Nice. Right, let's crack up. So this is the... Uh... He was fast, he was, Malcolm Marshall. Yeah. He was terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was. He was. Yeah. Yeah. But he must be terrified when, you, when you've got those that, that, that ball coming well, flying. Well, I know, I know, 100 mile an hour at your head, you know, and you're yeah. sort of, Riley, O'Reilly, crikey, and I wasn't the best, you know. I, was, I think I was a bit of a coward, really. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go, sir. Oh, I say, you know, look lob at that. Thai lobster and peas. Wow. You tuck into Fantastic. that. Fantastic. Uh, let us know what you think. Hells, uh, yeah. what, uh, what wine have we got? It's a chili and viognier, cos it's got... That little bit of extra... Today, as you said earlier, it's like uh, it's almost like a health drink. <laughs> yeah, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> How is that, Phil? You've, you, you've done well. Is that all right? Yeah, you've done very well. Excellent, <laughs> yeah. excellent. Are you happy with all your, your cricketing questions? I think uh -huh. I, got I, I've got a few later, have you though, got enough? but not for... Uh... I'll see you at the 100. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I'll, I'll see you at the 100. All right. Right, well, enjoy the football later. I'm going to yeah. be home to watch that. I hope you, I hope you got it right. I hope you got it right. It's Come on, England. Over, apparently. Uh, that's all for us today on Saturday Kitchen Live. Thanks to Jane, Philip, Helen and, of course, Phil. All the recipes from the studio are on the website, bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. Now, I've got more Best Bites for you tomorrow at 10am on BBC Two. And next week, Angela Hartn is in charge and she's got a full house with Sarah and Itamar, Adam Handling and Stephen Mulhern. Have a great weekend and good luck, England! Come on, England! Come on, England! Come on, England! Come on, England.